what up people welcome back to blue clouds tv is flight number one two four airborne welcome on board as usual the big game has come and passed i'm very sorry to all my viewers and audience those that watches me and listen to me i'm very ap i apologize um to you guys for not being able to do my preview and then the review of the game i got very busy caught up with family work so i'm very sorry i couldn't bring the video up but then before we get into the five things we learn from the game from liverpool and chelsea game smash the like button for me whatever you find yourself whatever you find yourself and if you like blue clouds tv channel please do me a favor just share the link share the link and then uh let's get it going let's get let's get it going yeah we can these are the first uh five teams we learn from the game that i'm putting up and today we're going to talk about the defensive attribute the intensity in our game the midfield not getting us goals and also we're going to talk about the going out playing in two consecutive away games and what we've learned from that and also we're still not the finished article these are the five things that we are going to talk about today Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll come back again. And so I'm gonna start with the defensive attribute. Why did I name the defense? Did I name it the defensive attribute? I put on the defensive attribute is what we have learned in our game. That the, the, our defense is the main integral part of what holds our game. If our defense were not good, I'm sure we would have conceded lots of goals. And then it's the, same, it's the same defense that won us the Champions League. And then it's the same defense that was able to keep up in the uh, uh, Champions League qualification. So, but besides that, we are lacking in so many departments. I was very happy when Christensen was named the man of the match in the game yesterday. I was proud to be a Chelsea supporter. Defense, our defense is good, but then we, are, we can do more. Our defenders are not getting us goals from free kicks, from corner kicks, and all that. We have to improve on those things. If you really, if you're really Chelsea fans and you agree with me, we we really need to improve. Our defenders need to improve to be able to score goals for us. And also, I want to talk about the intensity in our game. It is true we've seen the intensity in so many of the games that we played. The one that we play against Real Madrid. But what did we learn from yesterday? The intensity was very high. The game, the pressure that Chelsea mount on Liverpool was very high. We don't take anything lightly. We take every game, no matter who we're playing with, we, we take the game very seriously. And I'm very happy that from, from Mendy to the last player, Lukaku, everybody saw how seriously uh, um, the game was and what they have to do because if we don't put intensity in the game, there's no way we can be, we can get close to the title. As we saw those two teams, which is Liverpool and Chelsea, has been tagged as the main title contenders. And we saw that intensity from both teams. How angry or how angry both teams are to be willing to win the game. Because if one of them would have lost, it would have been a, um, although it's early stage yet, but then the momentum that you're taking in to win the trophy would have slowed you down a little bit. So I like the intensity of the game that both teams showed Chelsea with high spirit. Although we were playing like uh, playing 10 against 11, we still kept our momentum, our defensive shape, and we were able to finish the game uh, with uh, a draw, which was 1-1. And our intensity was still kept still the same way that it was and also i'm gonna i'm gonna come in with the midfield not getting goals i'll tell you what there are so many times in the game that Kovacic found he found himself the one time that Kovacic found himself in a very very good position which he kicked the ball to his right hand side it wasn't so quick enough that i think it was matic or van dyke one of them intersected and hit the ball a little bit so the kind of pace and accuracy that was supposed to come up from the ball to hit the back of the net was not there the intersection alone the intersection reduced it and blocked the ball away so if we have to go forward and be able to win our games chelsea 
football club need to do more in the midfield because we can't rely on Lukaku game after game after game after game. The midfield has to push on and be able to help Lukaku to be able to get goals. If Lukaku don't get a goal in a specific game, so what, what it is? It means we're not going to score goals. Jorginho, Conte, Mason Mount, those players, Kai Havertz is a big, a big game player. In big games like this, that's when he trial, that's when he scored goals. So I'm happy with Kai Havertz, but our midfielders have to do more. We need more from our midfield. If we want to move forward and be able to win the championship, the competition, the Premier League, midfielders has to contribute more with goals. Now I'm going to move ahead with the fourth one will be the pressure on Chelsea. We are able to see out with all this pressure. We've been able to travel to um, Emirates to uh, smash Arsenal. We were also able to go to Anfield to play 1-1 against uh, uh, um, the team that never walk alone when they play in Anfield. With all the number of supporters that pack them, makes them the 13th, play, 13th player on the pitch. It makes it very difficult for visiting teams to play against. We saw the pressure playing two consecutive away games. Also, Chelsea is able to stand that text. So I'll say that we are doing good over there. We're doing great. And it's still not to last last uh, one on the fifth. The fifth thing that we learned, I'll say Chelsea are still not the finishing article. Look at Man City. Look at how they were able to break the um, Arsenal defense down. Chelsea, we could not we could not do that when we played against uh, Arsenal. We always our final third has been a problem. Lukaku did the same thing. Kovacic did the same thing. Jorginho also did the same thing. We have to work on our final third. If we're able to work on all this department of our game, like I said today, what we learned today, the defensive attribute, the intensity in our game, the midfield not getting goals, going on two consecutive away games on a, on a very high ground, we're able to mash out our, our strength and also working on our midfielders. Finishing article. This is a thing that we have to work on very well. Our final third, the way we pass the ball to the right players. These are the things that I think if we work on, we will be good. The international break is here. That we hope that Tuchel will put things in place that will really help the players to be able to finish up very well in games. Because I'm I'm sure that Liverpool were lucky. Liverpool were very lucky. We still went down to um one man and they were still not able to finish us we had a chance couple chances that we were supposed to finish that finish them but because of the final test that we have to work on to be able to see out games early so this is my five things we learned from the liverpool and chelsea game yesterday thank you guys for watching the video subscribe to uh, blue clouds tv if you haven't Subscribe, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, share the video wherever you find yourself, and also help the channel. The YouTube algorithm likes when you guys put a like on the video. So do that for me. And then I'll see you guys again with a match preview and a review of the next Premier League game. And I also keep on bringing you, we got three more, uh, four, I think four, three more days to go for the transfer, transfer to come to an end. But I'll still keep you guys updated what is going on around the world of football and in Chelsea as well. Thank you for watching Leo Desperandos and Gone to Hope.